In early March, President Donald Trump said that restrictions he placed on travel to and from China because of the coronavirus pandemic saved a lot of lives, a claim that grew to probably tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands by early April. But we found no support for such figures. But as soon as I heard that China had a problem, I said, what's going on with China? How many people are coming in? You both know that I closed the borders very early. But yeah. I'm just talking about Saved the a lot of lives. And I made a decision to uh, close off to China. Uh, thousands and thousands of more people, probably tens of thousands, would be dead right now if I didn't make that decision. And I was called all sorts of names when I closed it down to China. If I didn't do it, if I didn't do that, we would have had hundreds of thousands more people dying. We asked the White House for support for the president's claims. We haven't received a response. The few studies that have been done estimate the U.S.'s and other countries' travel restrictions regarding China had modest impacts, slowing the initial spread outside of China, but not containing the coronavirus pandemic. On January 31st, the Trump administration declared a public health emergency for the novel coronavirus and announced travel restrictions to and from China, effective February 2nd. As of that date, there were nine confirmed cases of COVID-19, the disease caused by the novel coronavirus, in the U.S., though there had been very little testing. Currently, the U.S. has the most confirmed COVID-19 cases and deaths in the world. As of April 14th, the U.S. had more than 584,073 cases and 23,709 deaths, according to Johns Hopkins University's Center for System Science and Engineering. Under the travel restrictions, non-U.S. citizens, other than the immediate family of U.S. citizens and permanent residents, were prohibited from entering the U.S. if they had traveled to China within the previous two weeks. We didn't find a study that looked at the U.S. restrictions alone. However, a study published in the journal Science on March 6th estimated that travel restrictions instituted in Wuhan, China, where the coronavirus outbreak began, and those put in place by several countries in early February regarding China would only modestly affect the spread of the pandemic. Travel restrictions could delay, but not stop, the spread of the disease. And social distancing and hand-washing behaviors would reduce the transmission of the disease, the study found. Another study published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences similarly found that travel restrictions and airport screenings in several countries likely slowed the rate of exportation from mainland China to other countries, but are insufficient to contain the global spread of COVID-19. Past studies, too, have found international travel restrictions could delay the path of the spread of diseases, but do little to contain them. Saad B. Omer, director of the Yale Institute for Global Health, told us he hasn't seen any evidence to support the president's claims. Previous studies of viruses with a reproduction number of 1.9 or higher, meaning the average number of other people one person infects, have shown the restrictions have to be very strict to have an effect, he said. Travel restrictions can have an impact if you shut down 90% of all travel, Omer said. But even then, it delays it a little bit, but it doesn't stop it. It's possible that the U.S. travel restrictions on China could have had some impact in slowing the importation of cases to the U.S., but we don't have evidence of that, or of what that impact is, let alone evidence that hundreds of thousands of lives were saved, as the president claimed.